Bobby and Richard like to watch the big freight trains roll by. They remember their visit to the railroad yard with Mr. Gray, where they saw how such a train was put together. Freight cars from all parts of the country were spotted on the many tracks. Cars going to the same city would have to be sorted out and coupled together. A small, powerful switch engine works in the yard, moving the heavy freight cars to the proper tracks. Riding the engine platform are the switchmen. They uncouple the cars and switch the track. They have a list of all the cars that have to be shunted. It tells them where the car is going and what cargo it carries. The yard bustles with activity. Long lines of freight cars glide back and forth over the many switches, coupling and uncoupling, car by car. The train is made up. their customers the best possible service, the railroads own many types of freight cars. Box cars like these, made to carry automobiles, gondolas for heavy machinery, tank cars for chemicals and fuel oils, flat cars that carry bulldozers and other equipment. There are many types of special cars, all working to transport the large amounts of freight from city to city safely and quickly. have been coupled together, and car inspectors have carefully checked each car for any defects. The train is ready. The powerful diesel electric locomotive that will take the train to its destination is readied at the service area. In a shower of soap and water, the engine is washed spotlessly clean. The service crew inspects the big locomotive carefully. The large fuel tanks are filled for the long trip. Air brakes are checked. locomotive finally rolls out of the service area and is coupled to the waiting train. The hose that carries the compressed air for the train brakes is connected and the valves open. The engine begins pumping air into the brake system till the pressure reaches 90 pounds. All is now ready. The dispatcher in the signal tower clears the track for our train. The brakes are released. Powerful diesel engines growl. Slowly, our long, heavy freight train glides out of the rail yard.
This is only a small part in the story of freight trains. Every hour of the day, they can be seen roaring across our country, transporting vitally needed food products to our teeming cities, supplying the never-ending demand of industry for raw materials, returning with finished manufactured goods. Freight trains are the pulse of the nation. They are commerce on the move.